as this whole corona fairy tale began, and especially the um, fear-mongering, and the way we saw how this was used to abuse people, to imprison themselves, we asked, what's this about? What's the way out? How do we make use of this to free ourselves? And the answer we got was, the Messiah must come. So, of course, we asked, well, who is the Messiah? And where is he or she to be found? And the answer is, you are right where you are right now. Now, every spiritual lehrer, teacher, has always done exactly the same thing. They've always said, look, this is what a real human being is capable of. Practice and you can do it yourself. That's all they've ever said. They've never ever said, I am the super aloysted. You must do what I say. Mm -mm. That's the priesthood that got in the way of the teachings. They did that, but the teacher him herself never said that. And it's amazing how quickly this can, can change. Uh, back in 1980, in uh, Herakan, in the Himalayas, there's an ashram there uh, from Babaji as an uh, embodiment of Lord Shiva. He said to the Western women who were coming there in their miniskirts and their hot pants, you are greatly disturbing the mental equilibrium of the local people. If you come to the ashram, you must wear either a sari or a Punjabi. That's exactly what he said. Ten years later, in the ashram in Holland, that suddenly become, as a woman, if you want to take part on the, in the ceremonies, you must wear a sari. It's not what he said at all. You see what I mean? See how easy thing, these things are changed. So the teachings are repeated and repeated and repeated. The masters come again and again and again to show us how to do it. And it's time that we did, don't you think? I mean, there's enough chaos in the world as it is. Do we need to have more? How about some peace instead? And the place where you have to start is in your heart. And I'd better show you where your heart is because almost nobody knows. And if you bend your left arm at the elbow like that so that the fingers point at 45 degrees towards the right shoulder and the root of the little finger is on the breastbone, thumb is folded in, that's where your heart is directly below your hand. And as you see, it lies diagonally through the body that way, but it also lies diagonally that way. So the left is at the front and the right is at the back, which is why when you go to the doctors, he gets his stethoscope out, he goes, aha, 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 so they can hear all four chambers of the heart. He doesn't bother with the fifth chamber, but that's another thing. We'll, we'll deal with that later. Now, what you need to do is to take charge of your heart. Now, you've been deliberately trained not to do this, to rule your life from your head, because your brain is incapable of telling the, what is true and what isn't. Your heart it's impossible to lie. It just doesn't work. You know, it's like switching a light on and expecting water to come out. It just doesn't work. So, you need to practice being in your heart. 
on the way to you do this is with your breath. So what you do is with every out breath, you, you breathe deeply and slowly. With every out breath, you sink a little bit further into yourself. So you come up first into your mouth, next out breath into your throat and neck, and then into the upper chest, and then further down into your heart. And just feel experience. Know what is here. And this is what Jesus actually said. I don't know whether it was deliberately distorted or whether it was a mistake in copying, but what he actually said was, be still and know that I am here. This is where you are. This is the center of I am. This is your being center. Here is the altar of God, Goddess. Here is where you commune with reality, with the Creator. Here is your creative power. Begin to use it wisely. Move from your heart, live from your heart, and ignore the gibberish that gets fed into and from here. When you live in your heart, your head will become much, much clearer because you then allow your heart to clean your brain. You've been deliberately trained not to listen to your heart and to rule your life from your head because that way you're very easy to manipulate because you don't know what is true and what isn't. Here you do. This is the first step. Practice it as long and as often as possible. You're the one that's going to get the enormous benefit. And right now, you've got a lot of time on your hands to do it. So let's begin now. Be the Messiah and be. So next lesson will come shortly. So practice this first one assiduously until the second one comes. Thank you. Namaste.